on the gun. Get up slow. Someone wants to talk to you, old man. You should never take what doesn't belong to you, especially when it belongs to me. What? Who is this? Ah, I didn't take anything. Listen, no need for introductions. My brother's gonna give you an address. You've got till three o'clock in the morning. Is that clear, old man? Yeah, clear. Good, good. Here's an address. anymore. Now, start walking. Count to 50. Go on. Start walking, man. One, two, turn around, and it's all over. Five, six, seven, Told you not to turn back! No! Are you okay? I'm okay. okay. What is it? Tell me what's the matter. Um, I'm Were fine. you dreaming? Yeah, yes, I know. It's your business. Please, tell me what it is. Just go back. Go back to bed! Go to sleep! Go back to bed. Okay, guys, don't come back. Don't come outside. I can't wait to see Tommy. You're his dad. He's gonna love you. I hope so. I just don't want him to make the same mistakes I did, you know? You're a good man. You'll do fine, okay? That's my ride. You sure I can't drop you somewhere? Take a taxi. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be home from four on. I'll be there around five. Yeah? Yeah. I really appreciate it, man. It's all right, man. You looked out for me in the inside. I'm looking out for you in the outside. All right? All right, man. You available? Yes, sir. Hey, Keith. Long time, Chase. Still a virgin back there? Yeah, now you're here, I'm gonna have to walk backwards. Oh, yeah. It's good to know you haven't lost your touch, Jace. So what do you want to do, huh? 
Let's go to Atlantic City, man. Come on, we could be there in an hour. Pussy, poker. Well, what do you say? You really want to know what I want to do? I want to go get a Nathan's hot dog, and I want to see my son. That's what I want to do. <sighs> Whatever you say. Where'd you get this piece of shit? Where'd you steal it? It's my prison transport vehicle for the emotionally challenged. Now get in. <laughs> you know, you're scaring me, you know that? Jason, your money problems are all over. Patrick wants to put you right back to work. The operations have been stepped up quite a bit lately. Dealing with some real heavy hitters. Backhands, wise guys, you name it. I've had enough of that. Serious, Patrick is spreading the wealth. I just want to raise Tommy right. For that, my man, you're gonna need some dookie dollars. And you know, we got it good, baby. Look, I'm glad you guys are doing well. But that's just not for me anymore. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Patrick ain't gonna like it. I'm doing this for Tommy. Isn't he still staying at uh, Aunt Maggie's? He is until tonight. Then I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago. I think you got your priorities all mixed up. Now, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna provide for Tommy? What are you gonna do? Get a job at Kmart or something? Come on. Is that all you think I can do? Give me a break. Well, we provide a service. We want to make the world a better place, one might say. For us. I made up my mind. Just making sure you thought it all through. <coughs> Attention, Jason, clean up on aisle nine. Yeah, very, very funny, okay? Make a left. I know, I should have called. Oh, you're here now. So you served your sentence and you didn't escape, did you? That only happens in the movies. I served my time. Oh, good. Congratulations. I always knew you were a good guy. Tommy's going to be so excited. He's really going to want to see you. Does he know that I was in prison? No, I kept my word. But secrets create confusion, Jason. He doesn't understand. Let's go inside. Let's not talk after. Is he here? Is he home? No. He's down at the beach. He can sit down there for hours looking at the seagulls. He loves it there. Why are you here? I think I'm ready to be his father now. You may not ready to be ready to be your son, Jason. Your lifestyle's not healthy for a child. I know. I had a lot of time to think in prison. And all I did was think about my son. How long have you been out? Not that long. So how do you know how much you've changed? Tell me honestly. Is he happy here? Is he happy? How can he be happy? No mother, no father. I've done the best I can here, Jason. Tonight would have been an angel. To both of us. I'll be okay. Brought you something. That's so big. That's what happens to kids. 
they grow up, no matter what. Tommy, I'm sorry I haven't called you for a while. I've been very far away. How far? Where were you? A terrible place that you wouldn't know about. I missed you, son. I'm back. Does Aunt Maggie know you're here? Yeah. If you're going to take me someplace far away from here, I'm not going to go. No. I'm going to stay in New York. I got a place in Manhattan. And then when school starts, you can come back here so you can be with your friends. That's not important. Tommy, friends are very important. Only if you have them. Bastard, he has to stop. It's okay, I'm okay. What do you mean you're okay? You're bleeding. Roberto! 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 Uh, uh, what is the stash? Ah, what, what the fuck? La droga, Frank's stash. Get the droga, away. puñeta. Look, I don't know. That's between you and Frank. You, you drinking again? Uh, I'll go back to sleep, you lazy bum. What happened now? He's upset. He's been under a lot of pressure the past few weeks. Look at me, Mom. We have to get out of here. Look, honey, don't worry. It'll pass. You know, he lost something. <laughs> it's always frustrating when you lose something. This is serious. This guy could kill you. This guy. This guy is my husband. And your stepfather. Huh? What would have happened to us if he hadn't come into our lives? I would have been a lot better off. How dare you be so ungrateful? I'm not going to get into this with you now. I'm bleeding again. Get into what? Nothing. I just want us out of here. Get into what? Don't ask for what you don't want to hear. Oh, my God. Did he ever... Baby, did he? I remember when we were young. He tried. I wouldn't let him. Why did you say something to me? Now will you oh, leave why? with me? You pig! Now will you leave with me? Man, what are we going to do? I don't have anywhere to go. Baby, we're going to have money soon, okay? I was looking for drugs. I found them, and I took them. Are you, you took them? Are you crazy? Just get your things and let's go. Go eat. Come on, we don't have time. No, 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 Talk now. Just get out of there now. He wants you all dead. Just and they're coming. Oh, 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 what are you talking about? Who's coming? Just go, honey. Just go. Go. <laughs> Elsa! Elsa! Roberto! Trouble's on the way. I know.
Any more of my time. Now, tell me where are the drugs? I can't. Huh? Ah! Where? Ah! where? Find it. Oh, yeah? Don't touch her! Oh, this must be mommy. Huh. Let's see how your beautiful daughter loves you. Jennifer, tell us! I count to three. One. Jennifer, please! Two. All right. You win. Now that a girl. I'm Jason, that's Tommy. I'm Jennifer. Are you two brothers? No, that's my son. You must look a lot like your mom. Maybe. His mom's not around. Sorry. You're very brave for a young man, Phil. If you two hadn't come along, I... Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. handsome, too. I am? Oh. Almost done. You hungry? I don't really think I could eat. Tommy, get the pizza. You want to tell me what happened? My mother. I did. Never mind, it's too complicated. I hope you 
like mushrooms and olives. I'm really not hungry, Tommy. Are you crying? Does it hurt? Yeah, my arm hurts a lot. Yeah, sometimes pizza makes me feel better. Tommy, we have to talk privately. Can you take a slice and wait in the car for me? Chasing you, a boyfriend? No, something like that. Whatever the problem is, I think you should go to the police. They can't do anything for me. Then can I take you home? I don't have anywhere to go. Can I just stay with you for a day? I, I just can't think straight right now. I'm sorry, I can't help you there. I, I just got out of. I can't afford to get mixed up in anything. I mean, my son and I, we don't even have a place to stay. But can I give you some money or something? No, I don't need your money. I, I just need some help. Sure, I can't give you a ride somewhere. No. Just tell Tommy I said goodbye. I will. Take care of yourself, okay? Dad, I finished my pizza. Okay, let's go. Just gonna leave her there? Look, I asked her if I could drive her somewhere. She said no. What else can I do? You could have asked her to come with us. Tommy, we have no idea who she is or what her story is. I don't know half of your story. Look, it's obvious the girl's gotten herself in some trouble, and we can't afford to get involved. I'm not afraid. Right. Winston. Go over this place with a flea comb and give me a report in the morning. Yes, sir. Joey? Yeah? I want you to check this place out with a flea comb. You got it, Winston. We'll take care of it. We'll pick it apart. What are you doing here? Doing my job, just like you. Since when are you in homicide? Not that I have to explain anything, but uh, I am a polite man. One of the sons was an informer of mine. There's no record of this family being in the drug business. No, they're not. But Frank got around. Nice kid. Sorry to see him end up like this. Whole family get it? Nah. The daughter wasn't found. Oh. Horrible thing to come home to. <sighs> no shit. We're keeping somebody posted in case she shows up. Who knows? She might have been here. <laughs> she might have been the one who blew their brains out. If, if that's meant as a joke, it's in very poor taste. Let's have it. <sighs> One got away, the daughter. And the others? The dead. And my heroin? Gone. The old man said that the girl had it. Sounds like you guys got some bennett to take care of. We're all over that. Oh, on the way out, the girl got picked up by someone. Yeah. What? She ran out. I chased her for a block, then she took off and some, actually took off on some guy's car. But I uh, got the license plate number. Uh, and you couldn't keep up with her. It's because her friggin' mother had me in a death lock around the legs. The bitch had a fire extinguisher, sprayed me in the face. It was a mess. I'm tired of your guys' bullshit. I'm gonna check on her. Right. You are slacking off, Keith. If you were not my brother, you'd be in serious trouble right now. You were a lot better off when Jason was around, man. Quit frickin' poking me. Get the fuck out of here, Keith. Now.
Tommy. Hey, Tommy. And Jennifer. Hey. My best friend, Victor. Same here. Come here, let me show you. Let me show you around. Hey. So this is the famous Tommy? You've heard a lot about you, dude. I do. Ah, like you're the best kid in the world. <laughs> well, let me show you what you guys do and your dad are going to see. So what'd you tell him about me? Not much I could tell him. I just said I ran into you and you needed a place to stay for a couple days. And now for the lady. I'm kind of thirsty, Victor. You got anything to drink? Yeah, in the fridge I got beer, juice, whatever you want, man. Thanks. You want anything? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Look, it's really nice of you to let me stay here. In a day or two, I'll be... Uh, look, there's no rush, really. Take as long as you need, okay? Are you able to take a shower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's towels under the sink. And listen, if if you need, I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna fit you, but my sister always leaves clothes around. So if you need any, you're welcome to use them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> He's a very special boy. And this proves that Jason here only two days ago, and now you. It's extraordinary. It certainly is. He was born on a full moon, you know. No, I never knew that. You know, I never would have recognized you, Brenda. A decade is a long time. <laughs> Not to me. Anyway, I always told Jason that you'd be a very pretty girl if you take better care of yourself. Back in those days, I wasn't good at taking care of myself or anyone else for that matter. That's true. But as long as you're still alive, there's always a chance to do better. Thank you so much, Maggie. For what? For not slamming the door in my face. Of course not. Now, shall we start with the most recent? Pardon me? That's Tommy on his 10th birthday. Sorry for dropping off the kids to you for a while. Don't worry about it. I'm used to it. We do it every three or four years. Yeah, but after Mom died, I had a really hard time. I went through a lot. I did too, Brenda. You know, we could have went through it together. No, no. I always felt so incompetent around you. Come on. Nobody supported you like I did. Yeah, but I needed acceptance more than I needed support. Acceptance? Brenda, how was I going to accept you? You were going to kill yourself. All the drugs, all the men. Hey, you know, they... time out. Time out. I am not going to go through this old pattern with you again. You're right, you're right. That's not what we're here for. Let's change the subject. Look at those diamonds. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, really, you look great. Nothing like what I expected. Well, don't let the suit fool you. I'm not this conservative underneath. I'm sure of that. Well, you look great, too. You work out a lot? Yeah, I have to. It's part of the job. Oh, I still see a lot of cops around with big bellies. <laughs> Mostly the older guys. 
but I do think that female cops stay in better shape than men anyway. So you gotta make up for being smaller, huh? Smaller, but faster. So is the job going well? Oh yeah, I love it. Well, I better. It takes up all my time. No family? Nope. Broke up with my last boyfriend six months ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, don't be. Oh, he was a loser. God. Now, New York is not the place to find love. Either the men are successful and have big egos, or they're a mess and have big egos. That's a good one. Can I quote you on that? <laughs> be my guest. But enough of my dismal social life. How about you? Do you like L.A.? What's not to like? Sun, beach, trees, mudslides, earthquakes. Nance, I'm visiting New York for two reasons. You're the second. Well, at least I'm a reason. Yeah. Here's the first. Who's this? It's Tommy. He's my son. I never told you about him because I tried to forget that he existed. I left him with his father when he was eight months old. The next few years I can't remember and rehab after that. You have a ten-year-old son? Isn't he a doll? Yeah, he's beautiful. Are you in touch with his father? No, no contact with either one of them. I, I thought I could just move on, but these past few years, the pain just keeps getting deeper. How do you know he's here in New York? I tracked down a relative in Brooklyn. Well, I can run it back at the precinct. He's bound to come up in the Board of Ed files. He's with his father now, Jason. His name will come up in your files. Jason just got out of prison. Yo, Patrick, is that you? You lost a little hair. The more hair I lose, the more head I get. So why'd you call me here? Can he tell you where I'm at? He told me. But I wanted to hear it from myself. All right. I'm done. Come again? In the words of a nine to five man, I quit. You know, Jason, I've always known you as a man with integrity. And I've always tried to honor that. And honor it now. I can't, man. You're too good. I need you. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll only give you the hits of guys that deserve it. That's not for you to judge. <laughs> Don't tell me you found God in that prison cell of yours, boy. Well, you might say uh, he was in the cell next to mine. Jason, this is just to get you on your feet. You come back whenever you're ready. Watch committee here. I've never you seen you so. yeah. shh, shh, shh. Watch. Watch this. Oh. Oh. Hey! Hey, what the hell are
What's he doing here? You bastard, you're gonna pay for what you did. Whoa, whoa, Jennifer. Put the gun down. You don't want to hurt anybody. Yes, I do. I want to watch him die the way he watched my mother die. What? Jace, I can't believe that shit. The bitch is lying through her teeth. Oh, give me the gun. Jennifer, don't be like him. Whatever happens can be solved another way. Give me the gun. Where's Tommy? Tommy! I'm here, Dad. Jennifer, go wait in the other room with Tommy. Did you kill her mother? Oh, look at you, man. You pussy whipped. Of course I didn't kill her mother. What do you want with her? Your little cheeky babe friend over there has got something very important that belongs to Patrick. And I just want to get it back. You stay away from me and my son. You got that? Yes, sir. Jennifer, Tommy, we got to get out of here. Victor, what happened? Uh, this guy knocked me out. Details later. Let's get out of here. Bingo. Wow. All right. So, uh, whose house is this? Ah, it's my father's. Yeah, in Europe right now. So, is it okay if we're here? I mean, we already destroyed one place. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, your family. Come on now, huh? Okay. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Where's Patrick? Sit down, no, fuck off! Tommy, don't drink too much soda, okay? Got it. Listen, thank you for everything. Save it. 
I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to You know, your you... apologies don't do us any good. What I want is the truth. I lived with my mother and my stepbrothers and my stepfather, okay? And he used to beat her. He was a lunatic. Look, I'm not your therapist. What I want to know is what happened. Okay. I stole some drugs from my stepfather. So you're I a thief, right? So how much did you steal? You know, I don't know. I'm not a drug dealer. But you wanted to be a drug dealer. That's why you stole the drugs to sell them, right? So why don't you just call your stepfather and say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. You know, I just wanted to make you some money. Him? You know, don't you get it? The day you found me is the day that he killed my entire family, okay? He killed my mother. I'm sorry. Get okay? off of me. Look, I let's said talk let's go. It. You're not my therapist. What's up, shorty? You know, now, baby, got my mind on my money and my money on my... I have to call you Black. What's up? Look how rude it is coming and interrupting me like this. Just when do you care about men? We need to talk. I <sighs> used to trust you like I trusted my own brother. That's no compliment. You know that? You know, Jason, I can't tell you how bad the behavior is starting to hurt you. You know, I would have gone for that crap when I was about 20. You really think you got a lot of power. Don't forget, brother, I did six years for you, and I am trying to make it up to you. Really? Well, you get your drugs back on Thursday, okay? Meantime, nobody comes near me or anybody I know, including the girl, ever. All right? Meeting adjourned. You can go back to your whatever. White boy gone bad. So... One of those guys you nabbed the other day? Wanted in four states. Really? Double score. Stole the wrong purse at the wrong time. Eh, we're cleaning up the streets in New York. What, are you doing a commercial for the mayor? I could. Got a thank you note written personally by him the other day after the Ramirez bust. Yeah, well, thanks for the credit. You know, you couldn't have done that without my help. Well, you weren't there when the whole thing went down. Only because I wasn't on schedule that day. It's the luck of the draw. Yeah, no big deal. This time. It's no big deal. I don't see what the problem is. No problem. Forget about it. Nancy. Hey, Winston. Hello, David. Hey, Winston. This is the folder that you wanted. Thank you. That was fast. Well, I knew how important it was to you. You owe me a dinner. You got it. It's personal. My sister's in town. I had a sister. From time to time. She's looking for her ex-husband. Jason Reed. Who? Shit. Nothing. So how long is this going to take? Soon. Very soon. Listen. What about the girl? She still dies. Is that necessary? I mean, why do we got to make things more complicated? That's what I hired you for. The problem is she's with this guy named Jason. He's one of my ex-boys. One of the very few good white people left. <laughs> I don't give a shit about Jason. Just give me my drugs back. Hey, man, I've got the whole situation under control. Speak. It's your brother. What's the problem now, Keith? Man, get your fucking ass over here. Hey, can he cook? How should I? Yeah, I guess we're all just getting to know each other. Did you miss him? I don't remember much. How you feeling? I know how scary it is to start over. Sometimes I get those butterflies in my stomach. I think that's what Aunt Maggie calls them. He really seems to care about you. I haven't seen him for six years. Six years is a long time. Didn't he call? No. How about a letter? Nothing. Dinner's ready.
on the market. That's telling us to eat. Eat. Sauce smells delicious. Yeah. You know, my mother would not touch spaghetti sauce unless it simmered for at least 24 hours. Oh, I'm impressed. It's a good man that knows how to cook. Don't be too impressed. This is one of three meals I can prepare. Mmm, it's delicious. Tommy, why aren't you eating? That used to be your favorite. Not anymore. Why? Because the last time you made me spaghetti, you left me at Aunt Maggie's and then you disappeared. Oh, Tommy. Sorry, I'm not hungry. I totally forgot. Yeah, we'll be there. Anything happens to the girl, I'm gonna take you down. Don't forget, I know all your tricks. All we want are the drugs back. A nice quick meeting. That's it. Sleep well, Jason. And I hope she's worth it. She is. Do you have to eat when I'm on the phone? <laughs> Bitch. What? Not you, her. Get me Keith on the phone. Jennifer is asleep. How'd you like to visit your Aunt Maggie? Really? Yeah. Is it okay if we have a little talk? About what? Well, I know things have been hard for you. You're gonna say you're sorry. Too late. Uh, I never heard from you. I guess your business is more important than me. I wasn't away on business. I was... I was in prison. I, I didn't know how to tell you that. You were so young. What did you do? Did some bad things. Did you steal? Did you kill someone? I'll explain when you're a little older. Right now, all you need to know is you're the most important thing in my life. Why didn't you write to me or something? I thought you left because of me. No, no, no. Tommy, you're everything to me. I was selfish and I was ashamed. I shouldn't have let that get in the way of expressing my love for you. I didn't care where you were. I just wanted to know if you were coming back. If you cared about me. You, you'll never know how much I care about you. Look, I want to prove it to you. Please, Tommy, give me the chance to do that. I will, Dad. One last time, you're a fool to be here. You don't trust me, right? Is that it? It's not that I don't trust you in particular. I don't trust anybody. Yeah, well, people who don't trust are usually not trustworthy. You're entitled to an opinion. Here they come. Heckle and Jekyll. What are you doing here? I just came to say goodbye to an old friend. If you two are all through with the propers, I'd like to have my dope. Make sure your client keeps his word. Is that an order? What do you think? Well, the funny thing is, I'm not in the business of taking orders. I'm in the business of giving them. You better check the bag before you get too happy. What is this shit, man? It's fucking baking soda. What?
Change! People can change! I hate you both! Now turn around! Turn around! Stop walking! Count to 50, let me hear the number. Two. 35. Four. Turn around! Eight. All right, now. Drop your pen! Drop your pen! Salad. Don't turn around. Keep counting. Keep counting. Yeah, yeah. Five, thirty, whatever. Should have brought some bros with us. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Explain to me again why you didn't kill those bastards. I made a promise to myself. Yeah, well, some promises are meant to be broken. Wait, hold up. We helping you? Aren't you gonna start bitching? Jesus, don't you agree with me, Victor? What is this, the Twilight Zone? Look, the man made a promise for himself, and I don't think you can relate to any of those, okay? A promise that no longer applies. But like the vows of a, of a lousy marriage. I think we pissed him off. It's my fault. This is all my fault, Victor. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. You know what I think? I think guns make everyone a little hyper. You guys done? Good. Bottom line, we gotta get to the guy who's hiring us. You turn on a dime, don't you? Abbott. Think back for me, Jennifer. Anything else you remember about the drugs? I told you everything. Frank brought them home. He gave them to Lewis. I watched Lewis hide them. Wait, who's Frank? He was my stepbrother. Elsa. Frank dated my friend Elsa. So she won't give you his number? No, not yet. In the near future, dear, and I hear we still can. Bitch. No, she's just being protective of their relationship. That's understandable. Okay, plan B. I found out that Jason meets with his parole officer on Friday. Friday? That's tomorrow. You think I could see him? Well, I don't know. I don't think I could set a meeting up, but what I can do is I can get a note to him for you. A note? Saying what? I don't know, just tell him how you really feel. You know, that you've changed and that you'd like to see Tommy. You know, Nance, that's a really good idea. Thanks. You want to see me, officer? Yeah, it's an official business. I have a letter from your ex-wife. How do you know my ex-wife? She's my sister. Get out. Come on, really? You didn't tell her about my past. No, not yet. I wanted to talk to you first and see what you were up to. Well, actually, you did me a favor that day that you arrested me because the way I was going, I'd probably be dead by now. So you don't have to worry about seeing me in an official capacity. 
Well, that sounds good. Let's make sure you keep it that way, okay? Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Hi, is Paulette there? Do you have that number? Yeah, it's me, Mr. Tommy, let me know when she's off the phone. I'm okay. Thank you for your sympathies. Would you tell her I called? Thanks. Bye. Dad, she's off the phone. Hey, is your dad back? Yeah, he's home, but he looks busy. Maybe you'll come visit me there, you and your father. We'll take you up on that invitation at some point. We still got to get settled here first. Did you say you live by the ocean? Yeah, two blocks away in Santa Monica. You know, we talked about moving there. We did? My memory's gotten pretty bad. Her memory was always bad. She used to go out to the store and then come back five minutes later and forget why she went out. I don't remember that. Remember the time you forgot your birthday? Ah, you're embarrassing me in front of Tommy. I didn't forget my own birthday. I just got the days a little bit mixed up. I didn't. And I was only one day off. Hi, Brenda. You about ready? Two o'clock already? I almost forgot time. Well, this is Tommy. And this is Jason. This is Ross, my husband. Hi. Nice to meet you. Five minutes, okay? Just give me five more minutes. Five minutes, and then we leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been so worried about you, Jennifer. I'm really sorry to hear about your mom. I'm so sorry. Crazy, huh? So where are you staying? I lucked out. I met some great people. It's so good, Jennifer. I've been so worried about you. Listen, where's Elsa at? I've been trying to reach both of you all week. She's been staying with us since... You know. She's feeling it too, you know? Look, I gotta talk to her right away. Okay, we'll go now. Yo, yo, what the fuck? Yo, that's my girl. Yo, what the fuck is going on here? Larry, wait. It's Jennifer. Jennifer? You all right? Oh, this is nothing. Last week, I really could have been the domestic violence poster girl. Gotta report this guy, Elsa. No, not an option in this case. Go ahead, it'll be all right. What? Jennifer, I... Uh, 
She thinks that what happened is her fault. It's not. Don't put yourself through this. Why couldn't I just be with Frank? I mean, I loved him so much. Could somebody please clue me in here? The men who came to your house, they were looking for drugs. Drugs that I stole and gave to Frank. I'm sorry. Calm down, honey. Forgive me, Jennifer. Calm down, honey. It's not your fault. You're not responsible for this. You're not. So how are you doing? I'm hanging in there. Listen, I don't want Elsa to know this, but I got the stuff. Well, how the hell did that happen? My dearest stepfather didn't exactly hand it to me. Damn. This is fucked up. Yeah, and I gotta fix it. I gotta unload the stuff and get the money for it. Can you help me with that? Probably. I'm working tonight, so I'll ask around. Samples. This has to happen fast. I got people after me. Let me know you cut. And where are you gonna go? They say the beaches of Portugal can't be beat. You sure you have to do something that drastic? I'm sure. What can I do for you tonight? What can I drink? I'm in Manhattan. The lady in my hands do my usual. Margarita, salt, no ice. Hey, Billy, come here. Yeah, boss. Did you call Carlos? Yeah, boss, I just got off the phone with him. He said the earliest for that shipment is next week. I need it tonight. I know, boss, he keeps telling me the earliest is next week. I don't know what to tell him. I need it tonight. Go give him a call. Tell him what I told you. Even though I gotta go pick it up myself tonight, okay? Okay. <laughs> Demetrio, I uh, came across something, which you're most familiar with. I didn't know you were interested in the subject. Although it was my dear Billy to look the other way. Well, this is a one-time thing. It just kind of presented itself. All right, that's how it starts. Well, you know who I am, and you know where to find me if you need anything. Sure. Congratulations, sir. Hi. Congratulations. So, cheers. It was a good meal Maggie cooked for us, I'm full. It's a good woman who knows how to cook. Oh, borrowing lines from Jennifer now, are we? Uh-huh. She knows a lot about life. I like her. You? Yeah. She's a sweet girl. Pretty, too. Yeah. Come on, let's have a seat. How come seagulls never fly into the city and pigeons don't fly to the beach? I don't know. Probably has something to do with their instincts. A pigeon would look funny on the beach. Yeah. Do you like to swim in the ocean? Not really. I can, but I but I can't see the bottom. I might step on something. Like a fish or a crab or something? Like garbage. Was the was the ocean polluted when you were a kid? No. Not like it is now. See how old your old man is? I want to study that when I'm older. It's called um, some kind of biology. Marine biology. Right. I want to become a marine biologist. That's terrific. Now, if you're serious about that, California's the place you should be. Your mom could help you. No, thanks. You know, Brenda called me this morning. She and Ross are going back to LA, and they've invited you for a week. I'm not moving there. Just for a week, just to see how you like it. You want to get rid of me again? That's not true. Then why are you saying this? Tommy, I'm just trying to figure out what's best for you in the long run. She's a stranger to me. And Ross, who the hell is he? Tommy, they can give you the things that I can't. Good schools, a stable home. They've got horses on their property, for God's sake. If I were you, I'd want to live there. If you don't want me around, just say so. I'll go back to Aunt Maggie's. Tommy, I had to ask. 
Now I know how you feel. No one's gonna take you away from me. Got that? Let's just forget we ever had this conversation. Except for one thing. I love you, Tom. I love you too, Dad. So how long do you know this guy? He's worked over at Wrigley's for about three years. He's always been helpful. Traffic boss is good stuff. I have to check it out before we agree on anything. He wants to make this deal as soon as possible. Don't they always? Call me tonight. Okay, boss. We'll do. Hey, it's me. I think I find what you are looking for. We'll know it tonight. Before we get into Tommy, I really want to apologize for the other day. I didn't mean for things to go that way. I thought that by the time Ross came Look, in, I realize that, that. I realize that. But what pisses me off is that you're still trying to manipulate things to your own advantage. What's it going to blow the chance of me and my own son? You wouldn't have. You know, I don't know whether you overestimate me or underestimate me. Oh. Well, at least you admit it. I'm absolutely horrible, aren't I? Nah, pain in the ass as usual. Brenda, look, I didn't come here to make enemies. As a matter of fact, we have to be friends, for Tommy's sake. To have you for a friend would be for my own sake as well. Look, I talked to Tommy. He wants to stay with me. Now, he came to that decision on his own. That doesn't surprise me. Does he ever want to see me again? Yeah, but I don't think he knows that yet. I want him to spend a couple of days with you before you go back. Would he? Oh, Jason, if that could happen. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll bring him over. Mm -hmm. So he can spend some time with you and Ross. But if he wants to come back at any time. Of course. I don't want to push him. You don't know how thrilled I am. Actually, I do. I felt the same way about a week ago. Mm. Nancy! Hi, Tommy. So you're really a cop? Yes, I am. That's really cool. Well, thank you. Thanks for bringing him early. No problem. Every minute really counts. Hey, Tommy. What you want to do today, kid? Mm, I don't really care. We were thinking about the Museum of Natural History. Yeah. As a kid, I was crazy about dinosaurs, brontosaurs, tyrannosaurs. The largest herbivorous dinosaur. Brontosaurus is my favorite. The museum it is, then. Are you coming? I can't. I have to go back to work. But I have off tomorrow. How would you like to go rollerblading in Central Park? Well, I don't have rollerblades. Hey, you know what? We'll get you a pair today. Oh, thanks. David! Hey, Nancy. Hi. Hi. This is my partner, David. David, this is my sister, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? And this is her husband, Ross. Hey, Ross, nice to meet you. This is my nephew, Tommy. Tommy! Hey. How are you, man? Hey. And his father, Jason. Jason? Hey. Well, I'm sorry to cut this short, but you gotta go. Okay. It's nice meeting you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, and Brenda? Okay. I'll call you later. Thanks. Bye. All right, son. Have a good time, okay, buddy? See you, Dad. Okay, see you in a couple days, huh? What do I want to do for dinner? Anybody home? No, just me. Listen, there's some beer in the fridge. Good. Dear Jason, if all goes according to my plan, there will soon be enough money for your share of the coffee house. Good luck with it. By the time you read this, I will have sold the drugs and bought a one-way ticket out of here. Tell Victor thank you, and tell Tommy he's the most incredible person I have ever met. 
That is besides you. Love always, Jennifer. Victor! So check this out, man. She's gonna sell the drugs and leave town. Did she say where she's gonna, gonna go, or? No, she, she, was, she was on the phone, and I got into the shower, and by the time I got out, she, she was gone. What the hell are you doing? What the hell is that? This is not far from here, man. What the hell you know how to do that? You can't. Come on, let's leave. My money? Sure. Here it is. Nice. Are you gonna count it? Nah, I trust you. Wow, it's a dangerous business. Friends are your enemies, your enemies are your friends. I don't need to know all that, man. I'm just in and out. All right. It's not like the thrill of your first deal, is there? First and last, man. Be careful. You too. Best friend I ever had, man. I'm gonna make it. Look, I want you to do something for me, all right? Sure. I want you to get out of here before the cops come. No right? way. No way. 
I'm so I'm so sorry for leaving you. I'm so sorry. How's Paulette? She finally fell asleep. Good. All I ever wanted to do was do the right thing. I know. Goodbye. Wait, wait. Don't leave. You think I went through all this just to have you leave now? You taught me about love. You cared for my son. And I need you. I want you to be a part of our family. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Dad, it's Tommy. Well, I'm at Central Park right now, and you wouldn't believe it, but I'm bleeding. Well, we just got to the boat park, and now we're about to have lunch. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. Be careful on those skates. I mean, blades. Be careful on those blades, okay? And I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. See you, Dad. Tommy. Yeah, he's at Central Park. He's having a great time. Jason, I'm worried. You better go get him. What is it? I talked to Elsa. When? A few days ago. She's staying with Paulette. I didn't tell you because I thought I was taking care of everything. Frank got the drugs from her, and she got them from this cop that she was seeing. A crooked cop? Oh, they're the worst. Okay, yeah. We, we got to take care of this mess right away. I mean, this cop knows everything, so I want you to call Elsa and set up a meeting with him as soon as you can. Okay. Hey, guys. I figured. Hey, Sorry hey. I'm late. Hey, where's your roller boots? Oh, I had some police business this morning, so I didn't have time to get them. The life of a police officer, I guess, huh? No. <laughs> but you skate, I'll jog. Okay. All right? And I'll take pictures. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. I usually run here every morning before I go to work. Huh. Yeah. Can you tell me where the men's room is? Uh, yeah, you see that building right there? You just go off to the left. Hey! Yo, what's up? I got him! I got him!
taking them so long. There they are. Second precinct. Why'd they kidnap Tommy? You want to tell me what this is about? You want to ask your partner David, the crooked cop who's dealing drugs? What? Hello, Elsa. Missed you. Just speeding me up. Well, when you were good, I took real good care of you. You only took care of yourself. It's all you can do in this world. Bring my heroin. She got damn drugs. A leader of the pack. Made me work real hard to get back what's mine. The only consolation is all the suffering I've caused. Just out of curiosity, why did you have to kill my entire family? <laughs> they broke the law. I don't know anything about the law. You may be a cop, but you're a crook. <laughs> I haven't heard of a crooked cop before. What are you gonna do with it? So, Elsa here's an expensive woman to take care of. Don't touch me. I think we have enough. Yeah. Are you ready to go to jail? Nice setup. You're under arrest. arrest. Hold it! You wanna kill a cop? You're not a cop. You're a murderer! Elsa!
chant, man. Just stay where you are. Don't kill me, man. Come on, you're my friend. Jason. <clears throat> you're my friend, man. Don't kill me. Killers, man. The killers never show mercy. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. for LA now. Won't you come with me? Well, I guess you got your answer. Jennifer, please take good care of my boy. He's my brother now. <laughs> <laughs> 